Hello, I'm Tristan. I'm a big fan of Ring's products. I have five of their cameras and doorbells and the Ring Alarm System too. I love how simple they are to set up, manage in the Ring app, and also integrate with other Ring and Amazon products. But sometimes I find some of the functionality and products a bit lacking, to be honest, especially on their doorbells and cameras. So today's video covers five features that I really wish Ring rolled out onto their products. Firstly, recording quality. A big benefit of security cameras or doorbells is obviously being able to see people and cars go past, but the full HD recording quality the Ring offers is often not sufficient. I know that the Ring Doorbell Pro 2 improves on this slightly with 1536p quality, but this is still classed as HD. I think the 2K quality should be a minimum, but 4K would be ideal. Many of Ring's cameras and doorbells cost a lot more than $100 and still only offer 1080p quality, which I find a bit annoying considering that you can go out and buy awesome 4K cameras costing under $100 from companies like Reolink and Anchor. The difference in recording quality is massive, which I have looked at in another video. Secondly, I'd like to see more Ethernet support. Most of Ring's cameras and doorbells rely on Wi-Fi, but Wi-Fi can be unreliable, it, or it can even be jammed by a burglar or a neighbour. This results in you losing all motion-based recordings that occurred during this time. There are two solutions to this, proper local storage, which I'll discuss later, and also Ethernet support. By running an Ethernet cable from your router or network switch to your actual Ring device, you are protected against general Wi-Fi issues and also jamming attacks. I'm a big fan of Power Over Ethernet since this allows you to run a single cable to your device, but supporting just Ethernet alongside a separate power cable would still be a big step forward. Now, of course, Ring does offer two Power Over Ethernet devices, the Ring Doorbell Elite and the Ring Stick Up Cam Elite, but they are both quite expensive. The Ring Doorbell Elite is $350, which is five times the price of the Ring Doorbell Wired, even though they both offer pretty similar features. It would therefore be nice if Ring added an Ethernet option to most of their cameras and doorbells, or at least drop the price of their current Elite products. Thirdly, I'd love real local storage. Yes, I know the Ring bought out Ring Edge in 2021, but this requires you to have the Ring Alarm Pro costing $250 and pay $20 a month for uh, the Ring Protect Pro subscription. Over three years, you'll end up paying almost $1,000 in total, but real local storage should be free. Just add an SD card slot in each Ring camera and doorbell, then people can record locally without being dependent on the cloud. Or add support for streaming to a NAS, either via simple FTP functionality or proper RTSP support. There's various different ways of achieving local storage, but the point is Ring don't offer any of these. Ring Edge is overly expensive and restrictive, and it isn't available outside of North America either. This is partly why I love my Reolink camera. It supports uh, FTP, stream into a NAS, local SD uh, card recording, and more. Now, I understand why Ring don't offer real local storage, and this is where Paul Hibbert will pop up and shout, corporate greed, but it's still frustrating. My fourth gripe is 24 seven recording support. In other words, being able to record continuously, even if no motion is detected. This would be especially important because Ring doorbells and cameras do sometimes miss motion at key times, meaning that you sometimes get no recordings at all of something really important that happens around your property. Ring promised everyone 24 seven recording support back in tw uh, 2018, and they seem to have given up on this. Uh, yeah, I know it would cost them more money to sort of store extra videos in the cloud, but since they now offer local storage to people in North America, but no one else in the world, hashtag totally not bitter, you'd think that they'd actually offer 24 seven recording as an option to Ring Edge users. Who knows? Maybe they will deliver this at some point, but right now it just seems as distant as HomeKit support that they also promised, but never delivered. Hashtag totally not bitter. Okay, my fifth and final point is night vision control. Many cameras allow you to choose when night vision mode will actually come on, or they even allow you to disable it completely. Ring, sadly, don't offer either of these features. Now, I know this doesn't sound too important because if it's pitch black, then you're obviously, you know, you're not going to see anything anyway when you disable night vision. But sometimes there are light sources nearby that make the night vision quality pretty terrible. But if this affects your Ring recordings, you currently have no control over it. 
It would also be nice to have control over when night vision mode actually kicks in. This is called lux or daylight control. After all, sometimes there's still a little bit of daylight left, but the ring camera has already switched over to night vision mode and then the recording quality isn't great as a result. Adding a little more control over night vision shouldn't be hard for ring and it'd be a really nice feature for some users. I do really like Ring's products. They look good, they're easy to install, and they're easy to control and use. However, sometimes they feel a little dated. You know, being stuck at 1080p recording, having no 24-7 support, no real local storage, no Ethernet support, and no night vision control really seems to contradict Ring's premium price tag. But maybe that's just me. What do you think? Do you agree with the five feature requests that I mentioned? Are there other features that you think Ring should also introduce? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the thumbs up button. Please also subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon, which will notify you when I release new videos. Thank you.